I am here at Tableau Bistro here with Grant Edmonds from Selenia Estates from Hawke's Bay in New Zealand and he's brought a flight of wines, uh, mostly white, but I see there are a few reds there as well and uh, if you'd like to say a little bit about uh, some of the wines that you've uh, brought for us today. Some of the wines, sure. Uh, well, we're based in Hawke's Bay. Yes. Um, two of the wines will be from Marlborough, which is New Zealand's biggest region, and what New Zealand is, is most famous for is Marlborough Sauvignon. So yes. uh, we have a, uh, an entry-level Sauvignon Blanc, which we'll try to start with, and then a reserve mm -hmm. level afterwards, just for comparison. Right. Um, and then we've got uh, one or two other things, uh, which I can't quite remember. Um, well, I know you've got a Pinot Noir and a Merlot. I know you like Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> one, of my, uh, one of my babies, I guess. Yes. Um, yeah, we do. Again, we have a couple of, of Pinot Blancs. Yes. Um, both from Hawke's Bay, which is a little unusual in New Zealand. Too, yeah, so warmer area. Very much. Yeah. But we grow it inland at slightly higher altitude or out on the coast where there's cooling sea breezes. So ah, okay. Slightly different in, uh, in character, mm -hmm. in climatic characteristics, I guess, right. from where we grow the Merlot. Okay. Uh, it actually works incredibly well. We're very happy with our pinots. Okay. What kind of soil uh, in the for the for the pinots? For pinots, two, two different sorts. The the inland one is it's old uh, river terraces, so it's gravel okay. soils. Mm -hmm. And the coastal ones are um, rolling, north facing clay slopes. Right. North facing for you guys, it's the equivalent of south, obviously. So it's uh, yeah. all sides. Right. Right. Um, very different results out of those soils. Uh, the gravels tend to be a little more focused, a little more linear, I guess, mm -hmm. whereas the clay soils tend to be a little bit rounder and, and fatter in style. So right. Very interesting to compare. Okay, so are those like in individual uh, separate wines or do you blend them we, together? We do make individual wines from them from time to time. Right. Uh, but generally it's a blend of the two to try and get a, a, a more interesting, more complete whole, if you like. Okay. And, uh, well, tell me a little bit, you've got the Sauve Blanc in your hand there. And you said that was your, the, sort of the entry level one, or? Entry level Sauvignon, yeah. It's, um, when we started, we didn't actually have a Marlborough Sauvignon, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we soon found out that the world really just wanted to know about Marlborough Sauvignon. So right. we started producing one after four or five years, and now this wine makes up almost two thirds of our entire production. Okay, so you're trying any experiments like a bit of oak on it or anything like that? Um, oak, no. <laughs> We have a couple of winemaking staff who are very keen on the idea of, of oak sauvignon. Yeah. For me, I just think it uh, it detracts from what sauvignon is all about, which is fresh fruit. Um, right. So we we do a few different things with our reserve wine. Mm -hmm. uh, we leave it on gross leaves with a bit of leaves stirring for a few months, so we can yeah. give it that creaminess and that right. slightly more rounded palate. Yeah. But in terms of the entry level sauvignon, it, it's really fruit forward fresh, clean, um, wonderful secret wine. That's what we're after. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much.